welcome to another edition of Incoming here on the Psycho Sim Project channel. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the upcoming new album by the one and only, well, I'm wearing their shirt, The Birthday Massacre. Now, obviously, as you can see, I am a fan of the band. I have interviewed Chibi and Rainbow uh, twice before, in fact, Chibi twice and Rainbow with Chibi um, last year, back in October, I believe it was. Um, however, that will not colour my uh, view on whether or not this album is any good or it's you know, middling or whatever. Um, I'm a massive fan, but like Fear Factory, if they'd released a crap album, which even though I'm a massive Fear Factory fan as well, um, I have, I will admit Fear Factory have made some dodgy albums. And if that is the case with The Birthday Massacre, I will indeed let you know. But hopefully that's not the case. So um, without any further ado, let's give this a listen. Under Your Spell is The Birthday Massacre's seventh studio album. That's including... Um, the Nothing and Nowhere album, which they released long, long ago before they started to hit it big with Violet. Um, now, this band is a band I was introduced to back in, oh, what's that, about 2003, 2004, uh, by a good friend of mine named Tiji. So thank you very much, Tiji, for that one. Um, and I fell in love with the band straight away. I think I said that earlier in the intro. Um, however, this is their seventh album and um, is a follow-on from their last album called Superstition. This one, Under Your Spell is out on the 9th of June this year. Um, now, this is... How can I put it? This is a bit of a different album for The Birthday Massacre. It um, still retains their core sound with elements of synths and keyboards in there. There's a bit more of an 80s feel to this album, um, not in a bad way at all. Um, in a very, very good way, in fact. It suits the band very well. Um, vocally, Chibi is on absolutely top form. However, um, there's a very understated approach to a lot of the songs with her vocals. Um, which suits the songs and indeed the lyrics very, very well. Now, um, how can I put it? Um, this album has come for me at a very, very good time, really. Um, the song's very, probably some of the most personal lyrics that I think the Birthday Massacre have ever had on their songs and um, dealing a lot with relationships. And as someone who, as of, well, fairly recently, let's just say that, I don't want to delve into personal life too much, um, has gone through a breakup themselves and um, this song has come along at uh, pretty much the exact time at uh, this song this album has come along at the exact time that i needed it myself and um, as i said the vocals are very very understated and um, lyrically very very personal sounding album it seems and um, with chibi seeming to sort of wrench the heart out of her chest as it were to um write these songs and serve them up to us with some amazing musical accompaniment um, some of which is very understated. I mean, um, so far they've released most of the more highly recognisable, as it were, and standard The Birthday Massacre type sounding songs, uh, such as Counterpain. However, the next single, uh, which was released as of the day of this recording, um, called One, you'll hear what I mean. And talking of that song, in, in fact, um, which is One, uh, that is the first song on the album. And a very, very good song that you'll hear the understatedness of the um, vocals that I'm on about as well. And there's also a bit of a cheeky callback. Um, I don't know if it was intentional or just the way the uh, uh, the songs ended up going. There seems to be a very bit, bit of a cheeky sort of, not callback, but call, call out to um, Pink Floyd The Wall. There's a very, very sounding riff on um, part of the song. Um, and if you've listened to The Wall, Pink Floyd The Wall obsessively like I did, um, back all back in about 2003 I think I found that album um, and then you'll hear what I mean but um, apart from that it, obviously it's not blatant plagiarism I think as I said could very well just be a cheeky call out as it were um, very good song then you get into Under Your Spell itself which is how can I put this um, an absolutely magical song that's pretty much the best way I can put it I mean the band themselves I have heard them described as a genre called uh, magical rock which another awesome band which people need to check out if they didn't back when they were around a UK band called Queen Adrena um, they were also the only other band I heard called Magical Rock and the Birthday Mask could definitely fit that kind of tag um, with their sound and then we get to All of Nothing another awesome song Without You another really affecting song um, Count the Pain You've All Heard um, and then a few more songs games another very deeply personal song then we come to Hex, which is the one that I suppose you could call a bit of a breakup song, really, with lines about um, how I wish I was a ghost when I was around you. Um, apologies to Chibi if I have actually got that lyric wrong there. Um, and 
yeah, they, if you've ever had either a breakup with an ex who you had very, very deep feelings for, or it was kind of messy, you know exactly how that feels. And that was a very, um, very touching song for me to listen to. Um, no, tomorrow, another awesome one. The lowest low is possibly one of the most strangely depressing yet uplifting songs I think the Birthday Massacre have ever written, to be totally honest with you. And um, the last low is also, if I'm remembering right, um, the song where they have a touch of the Birthday Massacre uh, meets kind of Nine Inch Nails, as it were, which is a bit of an interesting comparison because I'm going to come up to the conclusion now with this album. And many of you, all I'm going to say is you who backed the Kickstarter or the Pledge Music for this album, you are going to be incredibly happy with this album. And I, unfortunately, was unable to back the album um, being made, and I wish I had. Um, but also, uh, for those who did kickstart it, I have got a seen a copy of the booklet. All your names are listed in there as well. There's a massive thank you list, so don't worry, they have gone ahead. You are now officially listed in a Birthday Massacre album. Um, and my conclusion is basically this. Under Your Spell is the Birthday Massacre's version of Nine Inch Nails The Down The Spiral. It's an absolute masterpiece by a band who have perfected their own sound, knew exactly what they wanted to make, and have achieved exactly that. And um, this is an incredible band by a band, album, sorry, by a band at the absolute top of their game. Any other releases from goth style bands, um, they're going to have to work incredibly hard to beat this, to be honest with you let alone equal it. Um, one of the albums, if not one of my album of 2017, definitely my album of 2017 um, so far. And I've said that um, possibly about the Cobra and the Lotus album as well, but this one, oh God, just wow. This is absolutely uh, amazing. And uh, now surely this is finally the year of this magical band known as the Birthday Massacre. Hopefully we'll see more of the Bunny Ear logo as it were. Um, with the bloody teeth as it were that was on the Violet album hopefully this is the year this is the al album that has basically convinced me that I need a birthday that's a good tattoo now probably the bunny to be honest with you not that you need to know that I'm sure that's of no mind to you whatsoever um, but there you go Under Your Spill absolutely incredible album hopefully this is the album that will finally get them into to bigger things which really let's face it this is a band who over the course of seven albums are yet to release anything that can be considered even remotely bad. This band constantly releasing amazing albums and the wider public really needs to start hearing them and getting behind them. So there you go. The Birthday Massacre get probably one of the highest ratings I've ever given on my show. Um, it's a five out of five for me. And I believe I've only given that to one other band and that was Fear Factory's Genexus album. So you've got to understand how much this album impressed me. This really is a perfect distillation of everything the Birthday Massacre have been trying to achieve over the last seven albums. Anyway, there you go. Five out of five for me. Make sure you buy it. It's out on 9th of June through Metropolis Records. So there you go. That is what I thought of the upcoming new album by the Birthday Massacre called Under Your Spell. It truly is an absolutely incredible album. And the album is out on the 9th of June, which coincidentally is actually my birthday as well. So what else can I say about the album? But what an amazing birthday present from the band. Obviously, they didn't time that uh, to coincide with my uh, birthday. But there you go. Sorry about that. I'm trying not to sneeze while on camera. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the review. And feel free to like, share and subscribe. The link to my last interview with Chibi from the UK tour last year, uh, last year is in the um, description. It's also there as well. No, nope, it's going to be there. No, nope, there. Sorry. Aha. Confusing you. Also, feel free to check out the um, channel by my fellow podcaster. He's also a man who runs um, one of the best Birthday Massacre fan groups on Facebook. The one only Attic Ghost. You can find his channel there. No, nope, there. Getting confused all over the place here. Um, make sure you click on that. Check out his videos as well. He's got some fantastic stories about how the Birthday Massacre changed his life. And the reason I'm saying watch them, apart from I do the podcast with him every week, is those videos can make you realise how much music can indeed influence people's lives and change them for the better. But anyway, that's enough plugging from me. Apart from this, make sure to check out my show every Sunday from 8pm GMT, 3pm EST on www 
thatmetalstation.com. Um, if you're watching that on the, uh, the week that this goes out, this weekend on this Sunday show, so I, I have got my interview with the one and only singer of Ailstorm. So make sure you check that out. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. I